Well then, welcome back to Avant 3 on the FTOG server. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now, uh, I've been, I've been pottering around at the minute. We've now got extra utilities here and there's a few new things in extra utilities. I also want to carry on with practicing and messing around with actually additions. I need power supplies. I need all sorts of odds and ends from around the place. So I'm I'm just pottering around right now to do a few bits and pieces. Achievement get. Um, in order just to, to make a few things happen that I've been planning on doing for a while now. And extra utilities have only just been brought into the pack. So now I've got the opportunity to make the cobble gen easy. Uh, should be good. Yep, made it, made it, got it, good. All right. Uh, all, all I'm making at the moment is the cobble gen. It's that simple. I'm just making a little cobble gen thingy going on here so I can uh, automate some of the the processes that I'm using downstairs. Uh, I've also been making some conduct binder so I can make some um, of the uh, ducts. Duct. Yeah, the item duct. Conduct stuff. Uh, I've got pulsating redstone to do next, but pulsating uh, pulsating iron, should I say? But now that we've got all of this grass growing around, and we should be able to get ender lilies, we should, in theory, be able to find some around here. Um, I'll just mow the lawn a little bit, and hopefully find one. It should be in the seeds, man. It should be in the seeds. What? It should be in the grass. Think this grass has some kind of thing against me there's nothing in the grass what's going on i've mowed this lawn a few times but today i'm not getting anything more than i was getting before ender lily seeds man ender lily seeds is there a reason why we don't have any ender lily seeds maybe i have to go further afield maybe it's a different type of biome that's what i'm considering now but i didn't think it was i didn't think that was a thing um, maybe it's just normal grass and not extra long grass and that could make it even more problematic to the overall thing of the game I'm not getting anything though am I I know I've got dozens on the unstable pack dozens I tell you dozens but nothing here hmm maybe when it regrows maybe that's a thing or maybe this is having some kind of effect on the overall system, or maybe uh, Thorgal has disabled it. But it really doesn't look like I'm getting anything of the normal normal vanilla seeds here, does it? So, uh, yes, we may have to wait until we get a trip to the end before we can find those. And that means then the pulsating iron may take a little time to me for me to sort out as well. Um, Ender pearls. Hmm, ender pearls. Ender pearls, ender pearls, or wherefore art thou ender pearls? I know I've got one ender pearl in here. It's still there. I've still got this one ender pearl in there. So I could make some pulsating iron and set up at least the first part of making these item ducts. Because I need the item ducts because of the pulling in and out of containers. So I only need three pieces of a pulsating iron yeah let's do it 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 let's commit to using the last bit uh let's turn it to alloys only and do that last little bit there okay commit commitment gained there we go i'm just using rf tools coal generator and alloy smelter and i've got a power grid which i've got this against uh upstairs i've got a solar panel from actually additions there's all sorts of things I'm messing around with at the minute, but I'm trying to just sort of sort out the tree farm, uh, really, and just finish off a few of the projects that I've started already. Like down here, I was always intending, I think you remember from a few episodes ago, uh, always intending on putting a cobble gen down here. And there we go, first stage automation sorted, a uh, little cobble gen. Now this is saying that you've got power drain one, and power grid one of zero it's 
doing the cobblestone. It's making the cobblestone, but it's supposed to be draining power from somewhere. And I don't really have anywhere for it to drain power from at the minute. But it is definitely making cobble. It is definitely doing the cobblestone thing and feeding it into the smelter. The smelter is doing all the pouring and we're making plenty of seared cobblestone bricks ready for the future. Um, but I haven't got the power for it yet. The only thing I've got is that little um, clockwork thing going on. So I don't know where it's getting the power from to do it. I didn't expect the cobble gen to need the power. But it is doing something at least. So that's good. I like. That's fine. So that's uh, the first mini project that I wanted to get done today. Uh, I now want to get sorted on getting that tree farm sorted out. So hopefully the pulsating iron is all ready for me. That one ender pearl needs to come in very, very useful. Very, very useful indeed. Oh, where did I put it? It's still in here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so that is the next bit. We'll do some of this. There we go. And I will... I will save some back. I will just use the first few very sparingly. Uh, where did I put my binder conduct? There we go. Or conduct binder, should I say. Uh, I just want to make the first few just so I can get this tree farm up and running. It gives me eight, which is a pretty good supply to start off with. Nice and simple. Uh, and I've got a couple of crafting benches and a furnace. And hopefully that's all I really need to set up set up the tree farm to be a little bit more automatic. Oh, frozen. Somebody just joined and loaded some junks up. Hopefully that's all I need. Because I've got the power generator here. I just need to add charcoal. I've got to just add wooden axes to the device itself. And everything else is an output, which is good. So I just need to set this up now with some very simplistic setup instructions so that I can uh, have lots and lots of wood all the time running. Alrighty, so as simple as I can make this farm, I've done a little bit of altering the layout of the cave a little bit. I still want to keep the kind of the shape of the cave because I think the cave shape is pretty awesome looking. Uh, but I've been working on now the principle of having two of the progressive automation wooden far, uh, choppers. Uh, I've got a little storage section here for storing the stuff. I haven't yet got the controlling block to automatically sort things out and put them away. Which is an issue, which is an issue, but I need to go to the nether for that. Um, besides that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven go in there. Okay, I've, I've just made the last few of these. Uh, seven go in there. There we go. I should finish that one off. That's good. And one, two, three in here that's it there we go need saplings to be ready but that's okay so what i've got is i've got a spruce farm and i've got an oak farm both set up uh downstairs underneath i've got a little hollowed out area which i've started setting up nice and neat with all the wiring and stuff under here so i can see where everything's going uh, i'll give you a quick explanation it's all fairly self-explanatory, but just in case, let's see. Right, so underneath the spruce farm, uh, we have an RF engine and we need wooden axes. We also need the saplings to go in, but that automatically does itself. And that is extracting, or in and out, extracting everything and inserting only wooden axes, okay? Through the item uh, ducts, through the item ducts. I need to connect the item ducts across here to put the axes in. But it's all set up ready to do that. I just, as you know, only had the one ender pearl. So I could only make so many item ducts. I've currently got six left. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a potential that I'd be one short currently to get across to there. Which is why I haven't connected it up yet, just in case I need them for something else. Uh, I've then got... That's where the spruce logs will come into. Uh, I need to actually ch change it slightly. I don't know if I can reach it from here. Nope. Nope. That's a furnace. Nope. Can't get it. Uh, let's take a couple of blocks out and use these because I'm going to replace those anyway. Uh, so, up, up. I'm going to put a filter on the top here so that the insert only happens and 
I'm going to filter it out so it only inserts the spruce logs, which currently it doesn't have any spruce logs. It's waiting for saplings, which means it probably won't cut anything down just yet. Uh, but I'll put, let's leave that there. I'll put spruce logs on that so that spruce logs are the only things that come down to the furnace. So it cooks the spruce logs and turns it into charcoal. The charcoal is then extracted out of the bottom, extracted only out of the bottom, and goes back into the side there where it is inserted into the fuel section at the back. Because vanilla furnaces have an output and an input, input top, input top, input side, uh, back and output bottom that's how they work so that's just like a little loop just to make sure that the charcoal goes in there to keep the charcoal charcoal full in the furnace all the time and then the item duct comes along here to keep these two power generators full all the time at the moment they are both empty because the spruce has only just been upgraded and isn't growing yet uh, so the charcoal will come into here and then the power goes out the top, goes out to power the farm, and comes out to power the other farm as well. This farm set up pretty much the same, with an in and an out. In goes wood axes, out comes everything else. And then I've used these cloud workbenches. Um, it's a very simple uh, recipe for these. Let's see if we can snag it. Can I snag it with three? I can't snag it like that, so let's have a look. The stone workbenches are so simple that I decided to use them. Uh, bench. Stone. That's not a stone bench. That's stone burnt. Okay, let's go with bench. There we go. So the craft bench, that's what it's called, is literally some smooth stone surrounding a crafting table. Gives you a craft bench. Super simple, and these things don't require any power. You can set up your crafting recipe and then it just outputs and you can automate it by pulling and pushing items in. So I put items in, as in the oak wood, and fill the rest with cobble, so it always keeps us one stack in there, not fill the whole inventory, and it outputs planks. The planks then get pulled out by the next item duct into here, and I've got two planks set up, so the planks then get turned into sticks, and again, filled it all with cobble to make sure that it doesn't overflow. Uh, which I had as soon as I set it up and that changed it around a little bit to put the cobblestone in there to block it. Uh, then the output is planks is still coming down here. Planks come into here and also sticks come into here. So the planks go two ways to fill up these three slots in here as well. And these two slots here with the sticks to make the wooden axes. And that also extracts the wooden axes and sends them up to that farm and we'll send them across to that farm as well to make sure that they always have a wooden axe whenever they need one. It only crafts it when it needs it. It doesn't need any power, unlike some of the other auto crafting, which is excellent, awesome. So it didn't really cost me a lot other than the piping to do it. I could have potentially done the piping cheaper, but I wanted to keep it compact and I wanted to have it so that I could get two pipes going up there so I could get the uh, energy conduct and the item conduct going up to the farm, allowing me the maximum space for planting in the farm. That's the plan. That was what I did. And so now that's done. Uh, excess stock comes out this way. I've got a little filter on here so that it doesn't allow oak planks, sticks or axes to come in here. And at the moment I've got it so it doesn't allow oak wood to come into here either. Uh, but I will change that because I want the oak wood that is left over from the whole process to come into here. Uh, there may be an extra amount of uh, spruce wood coming out of there as well and maybe saplings. Once I've filtered it so that only spruce wood goes into the top, when the top's full of spruce wood, excess spruce wood should come across here and come into this chest as well. Now, to save on these item conducts, I have put a chest in between as a buffer between a normal transfer node and the transfer node just basically takes everything out and dumps it off upstairs in the storage system over here at the minute i've got one of these um easy storage systems with a couple of storage boxes just for any excess stock that i wanted to dump in there while i was playing around with it but i want to put just there one of the storage drawers controllers uh controller uh, which is the next thing I want to do, a draw controller. 
but a draw controller requires redstone comparators. I've got the diamond, I've got the stone, I've made the basic drawers easy enough, but the comparators, of course, need nether quartz. And I haven't got any nether quartz yet, so I need two pieces of nether quartz in order to finish the farm off and uh, a few other little tweaks and pieces here. Finish off a bit of the building around that area, uh, maybe build these stairs a little bit better and also define some more of the area to make it look good. And use being slow, is there a problem? You don't have any fuel, okay, because the charcoal's run out. Okay, so I'll take what I've got. I'll actually use, um, I've managed to mess up the sticks a little while ago, so I've got 17 stacks of sticks in there at the minute, which is another reason why I don't mind that the uh, fuel has run out just at the moment. Still going to take a little time to sort itself out. Can I, can I access? Uh oh, something's wrong with the server. Hold up, hold up. I'm going to access all of them very, very quickly. Aha, there we go. It's caught up. Uh, this generator will burn just about anything burnable. So if I just throw sticks in there when it runs out, I'll just kind of get rid of my sticks that way. The sticks burn at least, and they make energy. Uh, but the stone one makes 40 RF a tick, and the wooden one use it, makes only 20. So I'll probably upgrade this guy here to another stone one as well at some point very soon. Uh, but apart from that, I'm virtually finished in here. Let's just clean up the walls with stone and all that kind of stuff. Just a little bit hit touch here and there. But right now, I'm going to leave this alone and let it carry on doing its thing. And go and make a trip to the nether. Hmm. The nether trip. My first trip to the nether. Right now. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Chickens round the portal. Chickens round the portal. <laughs> I think these are the chicken guards of the portal. Now, I was breaking grass uh, all the way from my place over there. And spawn is just on that hill over here. Uh, just there. Um, Brink is there. I came through and I was just breaking all the grass on the way. Trying to get the ender pearl uh, seeds. The ender lily seeds. Over to our portal at spawn. It's a little way away this portal at spawn. But it is set up ready for me to go through, and I have gone through for the first time. I get the achievement get. And I have no idea where people have put anything, because this is literally the first time into the nether. And all I need is a little bit of quartz. Uh, there's plenty of quartz. There's plenty of quartz around. Okay, that's good. There's plenty of quartz. Fairly safe looking. Got a bit of lava flowing down there, but still. Uh, looks like the portal is safe. The blast zone is so bad. Somebody's had a lot of gas fighting over here while they were building the portal, no doubt. Um, and the pigmen are dressed in... Mechanus... Mechanicus armor. Oh, I keep saying it wrong. I keep saying it wrong, dude. He's got, a, he's got a sword as well. Oh, man. He's not got a golden sword anymore. Look at that for a sword. Don't know what sword that is. But look at the armor as well. Armored pigmen. Really, really, really armored pigmen. And some of this ore stuff. Um, I'll probably make it so that I can't get hit by pigmen using one of these uh, Nyan Chu, Nyan Zul, first before I start thinking about... Uh, coming in here and grabbing all the loot. Like, there's all the lava blocks. <gasps> there's some down there right by the lava. Too risky, though. I don't want to risk it. Um, I kind of want to just dig up to that, really. But I want to find some nice, easy quartz. Well, the nether doesn't seem too bad, though. So, unless something bad happens, um, that's me. Me in the nether. I'll get some quartz and be right back. Easy as that. That's all I needed. Those two. There's a little bit more around here as well. Someone else's portal protection, maybe. Uh, just lava protection. But really, didn't have to go too far at all. So, I'm glad about that. I don't want to step on these magma blocks, as far as I know. These magma blocks are not good to be stepped on. I can't pick them up, though, either. That's a shame. Did I pick one up? No. Because they, they're supposed to do you some damage, aren't they? Oh, here comes the gas. I've stayed too long. I've already stayed my outstayed my welcome for right now. I'm heading back. Basalt. Awesome. 
You get salt in the nether as well. Awesome. I like. Awesome sauce. Okay. Really am going back this time. Literally, that is all I came to the nether for today. That is literally all there is to it. I'm going to get a load of gold, do golden swords, and then the pigmen won't try and kill me either. That'll be awesome. <laughs> See how that works with pigmen all trying to attack target. All right, and we should go straight back to spawn. In theory. Mission successful. That's pretty much all there was to it. Oh, I need to make a... I need to make a draw of any description first. But let me say... Please let me say that I've already got a draw somewhere. Please. Please tell me I've got a draw somewhere already. No, I haven't. Okay, so I'm going to need the stone and I'm going to need a diamond. Let's go and see if I've got wooden draw downstairs still. Would be really nice if I just had everything on hand, but nothing's in the same place as each other. So, yeah, anyway. Let's make uh, one of these. Any one of these will do. Let's go with making a chest. I'll make four chests because I've got the wood. And I'll do that. Chest, make me chest. There we go. I want that chest. I want that chest. There we go. And then I want one of these. There we go. Thank you. Draw controller. Okay, so the draw controller is meant to go about here. So it's connected to the other drawers and can sort things out. Um, the next thing I'm, I think I'm going to have to do is hunt around for some uh, ender pearls. So that's pretty much the tree farm done. Next job. So now the job is just to finish up making the farm look good. So I'm kind of keeping the same style. So I've crafted that little bit there. I've got that little bit there that I want to keep. I'm trying to keep those window type designs there. So I've got a little bit of dirt turned into grass there that I can put something on there. Maybe some pixel art in the future. And something a little there as well. It's just a 5x5 five five pixel art. But there's stuff that you can do in this pack that might be quite cool. So I'm planning on that. Um, I'm just like arranging where I want things to go like uh, I think I want to put one there and then take these couple out here I'm taking away the the blocks that are not stone and putting in blocks that are stone it's that simple uh, do I want to go there yes there 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 and there that's about the same as that side then just matching them all up a bit of symmetry here and there just just right and I might want to go with a bit of dirt there and a little bit of dirt that side as well. Where shall I take the dirt from? Over here. There's lots of, lots of running backwards and forwards. Sorting things out. Just deciding what's going to look right. Uh, and then I've got to put some dirt there as well now. Oh, you see? This is this is my uh, downfall. Making the pr place look pretty. After I've finished uh, building something. So that'll all grass out. And that will make that side look cool. Um, then I've got places to put things. Um, not that there's anything else need to go down here, but I'd like to just clean it up a bit. That's all. And it's really just cleaning it all up. I will find something to do there. Uh, find something to do there. And uh, just kind of clean up the edges. Take all these odd materials out. We've got quite a large area already finished. Quite a lot done. And now there's tons of people on the server. Uh, it's going to take a long time. Mistaken has just got the drop of evil. Well done, well done. That's uh, all the way to the um, ring, the uh, angel ring from Extra Utilities. Very, very good. Uh, yeah, I've got lots of lots of stuff still to do in here. Lots of things still to mess around with. Uh, and now, now I kind of just want to smooth the place out and tidy it up in my own time. And I will show you how it's all looking at the end. At the moment, I've also taken out all the saplings. Just so I didn't have great big trees growing in front of me while I was building. Uh, we do have enough wood supplies now. This is all running smoothly. Everything's looking good. Uh, there may be something down here. This is... Yeah, this is something I've changed since the last time you looked. In order to conserve the item conducts, I decided to remove them from that wall there. And bring them in line with the furnace so that they've got less item ducts over to that side. Also, I can run run around them a lot easier. Because there's nothing stopping me from moving about easy. 
and I upgraded the sto uh, the wooden generator into a stone generator so they would start generating the charcoal uh, and it looks like I've just run out of charcoal here because I took the charcoal out of there to put it into one of these generators which was a bad move I need to do it the other way around I need the char actually let me just put some charcoal in there put charcoal back in there there we go and let that run okay uh, but everything else is working smoothly. I've uh, blocked this off. I've left some space behind here so that I can do some more work here if I need anything. Uh, but generally, this is this is good. This is awesome. This is exactly how I want things to be in the underside of the tree farm. Now I've just got to spend a little bit of time just with my artistic side, just figuring out what I want all of this to look like and finish it off uh, there was also there was also a leaf blower or a leaf generator should I say a leaf eating generator from actually add additions and I was thinking about that I mean we get a lot of leaves in the tree farm don't we we get a lot of leaves look at all the leaves and the the leaves being turned into sapling ratio is probably more than I actually need because they generally have a lot of saplings that I don't really need. That's why I've put these drawers here. Already I've got eight stacks of oak saplings. And uh, one spruce sapling. Uh, but eight stacks of oak saplings that I don't need. That have been generated for the farm. Or by the farm. So if I had a leaf eating generator. Or a leaf eating RF generator. I could eat the leaves and generate RF. My only consideration there, even though that would be a cool idea, is what do I do with the power? I mean, do I take the power down and put it into a battery for the charcoal thing? But then I don't need that. I only need the output of wood and charcoal and apples, I suppose, from this farm. So, yeah, I think I will leave it without and maybe do something like that in a different time and place somewhere. Um... It's a nice idea, it's a nice little block, but not interested. Sorry, not doing it. So anyway, that is it for today's episode, folks. Thank you all very much for watching another episode of Avant uh, on the FTOG server. I will be back very soon with some more, more, more. I, I feel like I've now got the basics down. Feels like I've now got the basics down. And last week, pretty much the whole of last week... The only videos you were seeing were Avant videos. And you're loving them and you're liking them and you're watching them. So I'm going to keep doing them, of course. But I missed a lot of the other series that I've got on my channel. Because of all the basic setup that I was doing here. All the building and setting myself up. But now I've got the basic setup sorted. I can start splitting my time again between the other series. So don't worry, they're all coming back. And this series is going to carry on full steam ahead. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Once again, I will see you in the next episode of Avant 3. Yes.